Hey, I'm Roland, and um, take a look what I found here at the Samsung booth. So you've seen this device before because I've shown you this device in its Korean version at MWC. But this time here at IFA, Samsung is finally showing it off in the version for the US market. So this is a device called, let me try and find the button to turn it on. And you've probably seen this from Avon Blast before. It's a Samsung Galaxy X Cover Field Pro for, wait a second, and, and, and there it is. Nope, Samsung logo, and one more second, there we go, that's the X Cover Field Pro for AT&T, so it's the SMG889A. Let me just try and unlock this, because I found out it has a super simple lock code, there you go. And yeah, there you have it, it's basically a Galaxy S9 in a super rugged package, it's a device that has been available in Korea and a bunch of other markets for train operators and other security um, purposes for field workers and this is what it's going to do in the US too so the field or uh, the device is going to be out on AT&T in a few weeks I guess and this thing is uh, using a 5.2 inch I'd say um, FHD plus or 2K screen actually so it's running 2560 by 1440 pixels on here I think and again, this is a super rugged device for field workers. It has the specs of a Galaxy S10, so basically you'll end up with this super rugged casing, hardware buttons at the bottom, OLED panel in the middle, super flat screen on here. We have a eight megapixel front facing camera as far as I can remember. On the left here, we have this push to talk button, so you'll be able to communicate through push to talk on this thing. Uh, I don't know how AT&T is gonna realize or work with this button. You'll have to see once this device gets fully announced. I don't know if that has been the case. Up here is the volume rockers. You can see this case is actually super rugged. You can see there is a bunch of pogo pins down here at the bottom to make it charge in a base station or in a docking station that you'll uh, be able to buy as a business customer from AT&T or Samsung. On the back is this cover that you can take off, change the SIM cards. Down here you have the screw, unlock that, and then you pop it open through this slot over here. On the back is your 12 megapixel camera. That's the main camera back here with three LED lights to be used as a flashlight too. Right next to that is the fingerprint sensor on the left there and it should be super rugged which means it's not only IP68 certified so it can stay on the water pretty much forever but it will also withstand drops from way up high on the right here we have the power button there's a latch right there so you can hang, put um, a lanyard on it and hang it around your neck up here we have the charging part which should be USB type C no that's actually the headset jack um, this I think is an emergency button and right next to that is a notification LED and there's your noise cancelling microphone. On the other side, we already told you, there's the USB Type-C port at the bottom there for charging and up here we have the volume rocker plus the push to talk button. There's a 4.5 milliamp hour battery in this thing device, in this thing and it should therefore pretty much last forever. Let's just take a quick look at the software here and I'll show you the about phone and Nope, that's the dev options. Let me go back about phone, and there we have it. That's the X Cover Field Pro for AT&T, as indicated by that A at the end of the model number. Right now, it's a running a Vodafone SIM from Germany, and should be no problem if you buy this thing in the U.S. and you somehow manage to buy one for decent money. You could actually use this in Europe as well, because I don't think it's going to be that easily available in Europe. We'll have to see about it available in the U.S., but. For now, that's it on the Galaxy uh, Field Pro. I keep forgetting what the name is. I think it's X Cover Field Pro. Yeah, for AT&T. I was Roland at IFA 2019, and we'll see you later.